So this tutorial is going to be about the universal curettes. There are two that we have in our student kits. Um, they are the Columbia and the Barnhart. So with these, you can see a big difference in them is the length of the terminal shank. So these are applied to different areas, but the universal curettes in general um, are called universal because they can use, be used both supra and subgingivally. So, but primarily we use them subgingivally. Um, the Columbia here has a shorter shank. These are meant for anterior teeth primarily and for uh, shallow periodontal pockets. The Barnhart here has the longer shank. This is for deeper periodontal pockets and posterior teeth. And the reason it's for posterior teeth is because if we turn this to the side, Barnhart's have a longer tip as well. So where the Columbia won't reach all the way to the middle of the proximal surface, the Barnhart will. So they will go all the way midway and get everything in between. So we'll start with the Columbia for anterior teeth. We use the paralleling technique. So I'm sitting at 8 o'clock, and I'll be on number 10 here. I put the tip on the tooth, and we can see that it's parallel with the long axis of the root. One thing also is that the tip is a rounded tip. It's actually called a toe. Um, and so that is another indication that is not just for super gingival, uh, super gingival surfaces for both. Again, we're going to turn the tip of the instrument so that it's on the side or tip third, overlapping the midline. We're going to go up, and you want to be really subgingival as you go around this corner here. See, I'm up underneath the tissue. It's going to be blanching, and we're going to end in the interproximal surface. Same thing for number 11. Up underneath the gum line as we walk. And finish. Coming to 10 to 11 or closer to 12 even we're going to do the away surfaces. It's parallel. So I'm going to turn on side, go up underneath the gum line, and really stay up underneath the gums. And again with this one, we're going to use only lateral or firmer pressure when we feel something that we need to engage the blade into. So that is the anterior universal curette. Now the Barnhart, the posterior universal curette, I'm have the patient turn a little bit. This is a little different. We have to have a closed angle when we insert. You don't want to push down on the gums. You're not going to get a good um, insertion here. You have to kind of turn. You're going to turn and drop the blade at a closed or zero degree angle and kind of scoop so you're up underneath the gum line. And then you're going to walk into the distal. Same thing for the mesial. You're going to turn. The blade is going to walk this way. You're going to drop the blade, insert at the distal line angle, and then stand up and walk your way across to the mesial surface. Do it on this tooth. Drop the blade. Insert. Stand up. And walk into the distal surface. Turn the blade. Walking this way. 
going to drop the blade, stand up on our fulcrum, and walk around. 